Ten-year-old Parker Sampson loves animals, and now he has one to call his very own. He's really playful and is a big dog. His dog Ian is more than a pet. He's part of the family and an important helper for the fifth grader who has autism. You don't ever know until they're in your home if this is going to be a beautiful match. And it, it, seriously, I can't imagine a better dog to help support my son. Parker's mom, Emily Wilde, says her son benefits from his four-legged friend as he faces unique challenges. But now he doesn't have to face them alone. Ian um, soothes Parker and um, is able to kind of, when Parker is a little more escalated, bring him down a little bit. Ian was trained in the Rogue Valley at Dogs for the Deaf. Since 1977, the nonprofit has been committed to training dogs to help those with hearing loss. Now they're expanding to assist those with autism. We uh, recognize that there is a tremendous need in this country right now with uh, potentially as many as one uh, out of every 68 children in the country being affected with autism spectrum disorder. Trainer Jenny Nicholson handed the leash over to Parker today. She spent the past six months getting the Golden Lab ready for his new home. The first day that I brought Ian in, Parker's face just lit up. And Parker couldn't be more excited. In Central Point, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News.